right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for the patience and waiting. We, we faced some technical difficulties just now. So now we are live. Okay. <laughs> so we're live on Facebook right now. Thank you so much, everyone, for waiting. I'm going to pass the time over to Zil and Murshida. We will be introducing today's event. Over to you, Zil and Murshida. Thank you Thank so you. much, Huda. Hi, uh, Murshida here with... Brazil. And we're from Love and Respect Transforms in Kuala Lumpur. And we have a One Help One model where we support uh, refugees here in Kuala Lumpur as well to come out of poverty with every uh, training and coaching that we uh, do for entrepreneurs, business owners would like to scale up and create a social impact at the same time. So today's session is on online and on the digital topic, yeah. the topic of being digital. And it is a very, very important and very crucial um, knowledge and information that everybody needs to get on to, especially during this time since COVID, if you are not yeah. uh, online or if you are not aware of how to create an income or create your presence or to create content and what is the intention behind your online presence yeah. uh, then you know this this the time is right now for you to get on and uh, create um, a quality content for your business uh, and for your for your professional life yeah later feel free to uh, to like if you're on facebook our facebook live feel free to uh, ask questions, even participate. Right? We'll 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 answer your questions as well uh, during the live. Right? Uh, I think what we can do, Mushida, is before we start uh, inviting Puda to share about the key contents, right? Maybe what we can do is let's share a bit of our story about how uh, we started our community, our online community. Because before this, we were almost hundred percent offline. That means we do a lot of training and coaching physical events, but now we're 100% online. So want to share the story? Yes, actually, um, you know, if those of you who have been following me here on Facebook or in um, other platforms or social media, yeah. I hardly do any of my business online. It is more about sharing. It is more about content, but I didn't have uh, uh, any pitch to sell because I'm uh, very much uh, offline in terms of my business. I'm a corporate trainer and also I do corporate training uh, around Asia and I travel a lot in my in my training. And, uh, you know, when I was uh, connecting entrepreneurs, I actually be, I was actually physically there with, uh, you know, when I had to travel to Singapore, um, it was a very offline business. So when COVID happened, it was a, a time where we had, we realized that all of our year's plan and last year we were supposed to be going to Miami. We had all these dreams. I made it to India in January before the lockdown, um, but the, the Miami was supposed to be in March and we were supposed to go to Moscow during uh, Hari Raya. We were supposed to go to Morocco. So all of these travels with training yeah. was cancelled indefinitely, indefinitely. And all of my corporate training around Malaysia, Brunei and Singapore was also held back indefinitely. Yeah. So all our year's income that was projected yeah. um, was like, it went from a high to what's going to happen yeah, it's going to it's going to be gone yeah. and we have commitments and we have bills to pay and we have our our daughter's uh, school, school you know yeah. private school that we have to uh, to do yeah. uh, support her with yeah it was quite scary that yeah. yeah so the the the, the unknown was there yeah. and uh, within march itself what we did was we connected with our contacts yeah. and friends around the world yeah. or on what the direction what is. What can we do? Like, what can we learn to bring our business on or even to innovate or pivot so then we won't be stuck in this, like not getting income and then gonna, it's going to be a downward, uh, downward, downward spiral. spiral yeah. yeah. So uh, we got on online with a with a CRM system. Yeah. Uh, we learned about how we're going to, you know, what we do offline, we created a totally online yeah. community. Uh, we used to do um, high teas. Offline, yeah. you know, in Singapore and Malaysia, I used yeah. to do high teas for my family leadership community. It was all brought online. And in less than a month, yeah. I, I would say in three weeks, we got not only our, our whole year's uh, income was covered, but we got more. And that's yeah. how we, we are supporting entrepreneurs as well um, to get online. And, and Huda, we are so grateful to have Huda here as well. Because Huda also uh, was part of our community last year. And she has grown so yeah, much. Amazing. And because I know it is because of her, her advanced knowledge. Yeah, I would say advanced because I, I'm still considering myself on a learning know, process. Yeah. Um, who does, uh, I, I'm a seasoned entrepreneur, but you know, in terms of online, I'm, I'm still a baby. Um, Huda has 
skyrocketed her business as well because hers is purely online and this is the time for all of you to get your business online yeah. and really create impact yeah. through your work, through your purpose, uh, with this platform that we are we are sharing here today. So yeah. we created the the Live a Legacy Conscious Business Community to help support businesses to do yeah. good, to do more good while they grow their business, uh, and also the Feminine Leadership Community for women uh, to step into their leadership using their feminine energy and create changes in their organizations and in their in their careers yeah. uh, and in, in whatever causes that they are looking yeah. into. And uh, we are still growing. We're making our, our yeah. way towards creating the 10K Mastermind Club, which yeah. is for businesses that are making at least 10,000 yeah. monthly yeah. a month yeah. uh, to go even bigger where we'll yeah. be taking them. So like for what we believe in from small things, big things grow. It does not matter where you are. You may have zero knowledge, um, but you have to start okay. with starting that's how big things happen. You know, big things just uh, that does not just uh, appear without any inspired action or yeah. any intention. So um, we are very honored and very um, grateful and very proud to have Huda here with us, who will be sharing with you all of this amazing content, which I would say is a lot of money worth. Huh? I would yeah, say yeah. tens and thousands of dollars because you learn something here. You can make yeah. your ten thousand yeah, the next you day. Can apply it. Yeah, yes, yeah. you can apply it. You can you can get on yeah. that path. It's not so theoretical knowledge, all based on practical experience, and it can be applied in your business, whatever business you are in right now. Yeah. So um, this this is where um you know this today's uh, life is all about, and for you all to take that knowledge and yeah. also use it. And we, if you'd like to grow even further, we have the support system yeah. for you to carry on with us um, to take you on that, that journey to creating a five-figure income. Yeah? yeah. So Monthly like, like even like even my own experience, like uh, learning from scratch, right? I was not a techie. I, was not, I don't even have online knowledge. I was a trainer who's doing training. And my training is mostly experiential learning. There was a lot of games, a lot of fun. So for me to change from a very activity-based learning towards an online, purely online training was very challenging for me. It was a lot of mindset shift because I said, like Mushida started first. For me, I said, how can I take my activity-based learning where people you know do a lot of activities and bring it online where there's no activity? You know, all you can do is just stare at the screen and, you know, like maybe the, the, the best is people can just participate in terms of group sharing, group discussions. But actually, in that one year after doing fine-tuning and then we, uh, we actually, Huda did one of our... Uh, uh, workshops as well, Digital Marketing 101 for our community members. And I say, oh, actually, it can be done, you know, like uh, there is some ways to do it to make it fun. So we actually applied whatever Huda taught us and whatever we learned along the way. And what we did was we did not like just like, oh, say when we have everything, then we will start. We said, no, we will, whatever we have, we applied along the way and we made a lot of mistakes, I tell you, right? but we learn and we keep on improving. So that's how you start. You don't have to wait until you are ready and perfect before you do anything. You just have to have the attitude. I want to learn. I want to keep on learning, even, even though I make mistakes, but I will keep on learning, right? So yeah, so it's a pleasure to have Huda here. Uh, so just a short introduction of Huda. Huda is the uh, founder of Vampreneur Secrets. She's been in the industry for a long time. Maybe I'll let her introduce herself. She has a lot of amazing uh, credentials of what she's been doing. Uh, and then uh, last year, she actually got the... Uh, the Young Ent Social Entrepreneurs uh, Award uh, for a grant for doing uh, social entrepreneurship. She also has a social impact. That's why we love uh, her in our community. She's helping a lot of uh, people, especially women who are struggling in their business. Maybe they, 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 they failed in the last business or they are struggling, they lost their job, and Huda is helping them. Together with us, she's also collaborating on helping a refugee women to get out of poverty as well. So without further ado, I'll uh, pass it to Huda to introduce herself and share about what we're going to be doing today. Yay. Go ahead, Huda. All right. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Okay. Thank you so much for waiting also. Uh, there were some technical difficulties. And just like what Zil and Murshida mentioned just now, even when we face up some technical difficulties, life goes on and we have to keep going forward. High vibes and high, you know, high energy all the time. So for those of you in this room uh, who do not know Zil and Murshida, they are my mentors. They were the ones who helped and shaped my business and also were very pivotal in helping me get that $20,000 grant that I got uh, from the Young Social Entrepre uh, Entrepreneurs uh, 
competition basically that I went through. So let me one uh, let me just share with you that I really really respect and appreciate Zeal and Mushida for the work that they have done uh, in helping everyone who you know went through so much uh, challenges during the COVID nineteen period. They were there and supporting a lot of these entrepreneurs to keep themselves moving forward. So I'm very honored and blessed to be here today to be sharing with all of you about the three content types for online domination. And before I do that, let me introduce myself. All right, so let me just share my screen right now. All right, so my name is Huda. I am the founder of Fempreneur Secrets. I've been running businesses since 2010. And besides doing Fempreneur Secrets, I also have a video production company in Singapore where I serve Fortune 500 companies as my clients like Hitachi Asia, Prudential and UOB Bank. And as what you can see, I have been featured on all these notable media and I've got a new edition inside here if you do spot it. <laughs> I do have a new edition which just appeared recently so this is definitely something monumental and very helpful for for me to spread the word of goodness and to create even more social impact in new sectors and communities in the world all right so today we are going to be looking at this topic which is the three content types for online domination now i know that you may be thinking right now also do i really need to be visible online i mean this is a question i'm pretty sure a lot of you have asked yourself before there are some doubts that possibly is in your head right now. You know, thinking like, I don't, I'm not like Huda, I'm not like Zila Mushida, I'm not, uh, you know, like that, that confident in front of the camera. Do I still need to be visible online? Well, the reality is, why not? Because it helps with your online domination, your authority, and it helps to build your confidence. Not only that, it also helps to build confidence in your audience. Now, if they don't know you exist, how can they give their hard-earned money to you? If they don't know you are there out there and they don't know the kind of things that you can help them with, how can they truly for sure give everything that they have to you? How can they invest in themselves in that way? They can't because they don't know that you exist. So that's why you are here today because visibility is possible through the sharing of content consistently online. And we want to keep doing this so that we can take ourselves to the next level of our business. Okay, and having said that, I want to just iterate this, just keep you know, pushing it into your mind. Fear is the gap between the unknown and reality. All right. So if we drop the word un, we have known. And the root word of this is no. So when you know something, you fill up that gap. And what you thought was, you know, what you feared will just be moved out and it becomes a new reality for you. All right, so this is what we want to empower you to do so that you can overcome all the fear that you have with being visible online with the knowledge that we're going to share with you today. Okay, so let's take a look at the situation. This situation is very clear, all right? In today's day and age, in terms of social media, in terms of the presence online, we see that 91% of social media users access social media channels via mobile devices. So we learn from this that you have to focus on mobile first. Right? And then you see also that 54% of social browsers use social media to research products, which means that they are outrightly going out into social media to find new products. So if you're not on social media, if you're not becoming visible, how can they know your products exist? And this is 54%. We're not talking about 45%. This is, more than the, this is more than half the majority already. All right, so this is something for you to think about. yeah. And then also working users. Now, more than 95% of the world's working age internet users now use social networks and messaging services. So what does this mean to you? You want to attract people who can buy, right? So people who can buy are this group of people. And that's 95% of the world's working age internet users, they are on social media. So if you don't capture their attention, your competitors will. All right? So it's time for you to rise up and take, this, take on this challenge. So we are going to talk only about things that are trendy, right? So the right now, right now, as of, of uh, October, no, September 2021, the top social media platforms are Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Now, if you think about Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, what is one content type that they have in common? What is one content type that they have in common? You guys can just use the chat. Those of you who are here with us in the Zoom room, you can uh, type it inside the chat and let me know your responses, okay? So what is one common denomination that you see between Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok? 
Okay. So yes, exactly that, Adeline. Thank you so much for chiming in. Videos. So video content is the number one content that you need to create. Okay, this particular piece of content is going to help you shine out simply because a lot of the algorithm of all these social media platforms are in favor of video. So let's take a look. Now, 68% of consumers say that the pandemic has impacted the amount of video content that they watch online. So what does this mean? It means that you should be going out there to go and start sharing video content because people are watching it. And then, of course, at the same time, we see that by 2022, online videos will make up more than 82% of consumer internet traffic. It's going in that direction, which means now is 2021, quarter number three, almost quarter four already. So if we don't keep ourselves abreast with this new uh, knowledge of video content, we're not going to be able to be part of this 82% of consumer internet traffic. Uh, you will not be able to attract this group of people. And then we see that 72% of customers would rather learn about a product or a service by way of video, which means our customers are starting to be a little bit lazy, so they don't want to read. <laughs> so you have to give them a video and explain what is it that your offer does. You also have to talk about what are your features, what are the benefits of your products and your services just through videos alone. People are starting to become uh, you know, very complacent with the ideas of video, so you want to blend in okay, and just go towards that direction. So what exactly is video content? Now, video content is the most popular type of content online, and this includes moving images with or without audio. So you want to choose this if you are confident about being in front of the camera or have time at least to edit your content. All right. Okay, so I've got a couple of examples of videos. So let me just see if it works if I play it like, like this. Okay, so during the onset of COVID-19, uh, 2020, when people were all you know, complaining or even when they were all trying to say that, okay, I don't have enough income, okay, my business is going down and things like that, my business went up. Okay, and the reason behind this is because we already anticipated that video content is going to be a, a huge demand. So this was one of the videos that we produced on behalf of uh, Berita Media Corp. Uh, so that, you know, during the period, uh, I think they were not able to, that's team A, team B, so in a different, um, you know, work environment, right? So they outsource certain work over to vendors just like us. And this particular video uh, does that to share exactly um, the kind of things that makes Singapore what it is. And this is in the importance of agri-tech. Yeah, so you can just watch that. this. Saya memeluk jawatan sebagai Deputy Director Agritech di Enterprise Singapore atau ESG. Dalam tugasan saya, saya bekerja dengan pelbagai syarikat-syarikat teknologi pertanian atau Agritech di Singapura. Dari hari sehari, okay, I'm not going to play the whole video. I just wanted to show you the quality of the video. Skill Future Credit. Saya merancang untuk membuat perniagaan dengan menggunakan high-tech farming, menanam sayur-sayuran seperti kangkung, bayam, sawi dan sebagainya. So what you have just witnessed is content being created for the purpose of social media but being outsourced to a vendor just like me, like my company, my other company, right? So it means that there are more demand for video content and it also means that if you don't produce your own content, your audience will not know that you are in market. Okay? So this is exactly the kind of things that you would want to express. I even created a showreel for myself to you know, let, let the whole world know about the kind of video works that we do. Right? So I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to play the music, just going to show you the kind of work we do. So I think I just bring your attention to this one. Now, this is live streaming. Okay? This is also another type of video content. So you can see that this man is showing you know, the, the information related to, you know, it's, um, I guess in this case, it's Forex, yes. But, you know, it doesn't mean that you can't at all produce your content because, um, you know, you are a very face-to-face uh, -face kind of business or things like that. You can still create video content. So this is why uh, it's moving towards in that direction. You can place video content even as simple as this. It was just a behind the scenes of me and then my staff just entered the scene and ate. <laughs> so nothing much she just you know went in and, and took a, a piece of part and just ate in front of the camera and that's also content it can be as simple as that you don't have to overthink it and it's still video content or it can be as brilliant as actually recording a full-fledged youtube video like what you see over here 
All right. So this is also something that is possible. The basically your creativity is endless in a video. You can be as creative as you want, and you can play around with so many different technicalities. Uh, you can use Canva even if you would like to uh, create the video content with ease. And I can show you another example. This was a live series that we did uh, on Instagram. I did this Instagram live, and I want to share with you this intro that you see over here. This is also a content that was created. It was created using templates, and, and then after that, it was placed inside using Canva. So it's very possible for you to create content like this using Canva. And even this template that you see here with all the guests, they are also using Canva. So in other words, content doesn't have to be complicated. You can do it with ease. And that's what we are trying to tell you with this. Okay, so that's video content. So the second type of content that you need to look at will be audio content. And audio content is so popular right now because 2 million podcasts exist in the world as of, or as of 2020. And then we also see that 61% of consumers who have heard a podcast advertisement were more likely to purchase the featured product. Okay, that is a good sign, right? And 10.1 million downloads of Clubhouse app, which is what Mushida uses right now, a lot to, you know, to reach out to new market segments and also to share her knowledge and expertise to new uh, areas, new groups of people. And this 10.1 million downloads was before the Android version was released. The current numbers not released yet. I'm pretty sure the number has gone way up because of the Android um, release. So you can see that this is where we are going towards audio content too. So what exactly is audio content? Now, audio content is often seen in podcasts, but nowadays we are starting to see more and more social audio content. So social audio content is like Clubhouse, where you go onto a social media and then you share audio content. Then most recently, I saw that Facebook was also trying out as well to have um, you know, private rooms where you can share your content, uh, audio content. So this is something that we see um, becoming more and more popular for content creators. Now, you would want to choose this because you, you know, if you think that you're shy or you have you know, some reasons behind not showing your face, then you can still create content uh, using audio and share your expertise. And that was how I started with my podcast too. I had the same set of fears that probably you have, uh, thinking that who's going to listen to me? Would people you know, want to even look at me uh, because of the way I look, because of the way I sound, because of the way that I dress? And that's why I, I, you know, I just told myself, I have to put the information out into the world. I cannot keep giving myself excuses. So that was when I actually went on to do the podcast. And I have to, I have to seriously say to you that not even once that I've interviewed women from all over the world have they judged me based on my hijab. It was all in my mind. No one else have ever judged me except myself. So it's time for you to also put yourself out there looking at it in this direction. So these are the reasons why audio content would be suitable for you. So no one can see your face, okay? But people can still hear your authenticity, your originality, and your sincerity. If you have gone onto Clubhouse before and you've heard someone who sounds like they just woke up, yeah, that's the level of sincerity that they're putting into um, you know, sharing their content. That's not fair for you and that's not the kind of information that you want to gain as well. So you cannot make the assumption just because they cannot see your face that you shouldn't give your 110%. You still should give your all in order for you to achieve the success and the authenticity as well as authority that you want in the market. Of course, like I mentioned, podcasts also helped me make a name for myself when people in this part of the world didn't know that I exist in this business. So I already had people uh, from Australia, from United States, they, all, you know, they reached out to me and asked what I was doing and all of those things. So I was really reaching out to that segment before people in my own hometown understood what I was doing. Yeah, so this is the power of podcasts. Now, the beautiful thing about podcasts also, or audio content even, is that you can repurpose your audio content a little bit later on to be added over video footages if you have them, to use as freebie, to use as lessons in mini courses, and so much more. So really, you can get creative with this. All right, so this... The first step is really just respecting... This is an example of podcast. I wanted to say that before it went on to play. So just listen in. 
how convoluted and how much of a complex system sales is. And then once you have that respect for sales, then it's really understanding that I think that there's a lot of kind of mis misconstrued information out there that I can hit 10k months within two months or eight weeks. This is how like you see a lot of ads and business out there that are promoting that. But honestly, if you want to build a business for the long term that's sustainable and it's really representative of something that you're passionate about, you need to build the business the right All way. Right. So this is an example of a podcast episode that is being recorded as one of the interviews that I did. And I overlay it using Canva as well uh, to create this artwork that was eventually uploaded onto my Instagram. So again, you can use the audio content, repurpose it like what I have done over here for really a lot of ideas that you can just come up with so many different ways on how you can do this. So this is what audio content is. And that's why it's really important right now for you to explore audio content too. Now, the third type of content that I really want to share with you is written content. Now, I've been getting lots of questions about written content because people think that written content equals to blogs. But there are so many other ways in which you can create written content. So let's take a look, okay? So 77% of internet users, they read blogs, and that's a good number. And 97% are, well, companies who get blocked, they get 97% more links to their website. And we want these links because it will help us with SEO. SEO leads have a 14.6% close rate. SEO leads here simply means that it is organic traffic that is being driven to your website and people are curious to find out more about you. They fill up the form and then after that, they, you, know, you on your back end, you can pick up the phone and call them. So it's already garnering an interest in them because when someone is searching on Google for a particular topic, the chances of them being interested to buy from you will be much higher than if you were to just say, um, you know, create awareness on Facebook, on Instagram, and you know, all the other social media platforms. So this is the reason why I wanted to emphasize that the third content that you need to be creating would be this one, blog content. Right. So there are, of course, so many different types of content that you can write. You can write blogs, which is um, the end all and be all. It has a lots of words. Therefore, it stands out for SEO. You can also create, uh, you can also write ebooks. So if you have the capacity to write, you can write ebooks, whether it's short form or long form ebooks. It's also helpful for you to share your expertise. And also emails. So you can use emails, especially to share your expertise, to create authenticity and build your brand very well using emails. So I have a weekly email, or at least I try to be as frequent as I can weekly. I send out honest challenges that I go through in my business every single week because that's the authenticity that I want to pass across in my brand. All right? And then I've also done previously for another brand, uh, they do e-commerce. So they do uh, flash sales every Thursday. So every Thursday, they will send out an email to say flash sale 24 hours. So that's also something that you can think about when coming uh, up with emails for your audience. So what exactly is written content? Now, it is anything that you can um, write and then all of it falls under this category. So some examples would be blogs, articles, ebooks, even your carousel posts on Instagram are also considered as written content because it comes heavily with content um, that, I mean, come heavily with words. That's what I mean. Yes. And you want to choose this if you're great at writing or you are okay with referencing facts or statistics. That's something you can do, right? So here are the reasons why written content is suitable. It helps with your organic traffic through a strategy known as search engine optimization, which is SEO for short. Now, blogging helps with the on-page strategy of SEO and writing on other platforms like LinkedIn will also help with off-page strategy of SEO. So when you blend both together, the on-page and the off-page, you will have a very sound search engine optimization strategy in place. So that's why we need lots of blog content moving forward. You can also repurpose your written content for any other content types such as video scripts, ebooks, social media posts, and so much more. And that's exactly what I do too. So I will write blog articles and then I'll turn it into a video script or a podcast script and then I'll record a podcast episode or a video episode. And then after that, if I have maybe 10 episodes already or 10 of the similar topics, lump it up together and become an ebook. So that's something that can be done for you as well. So you don't have to just uh, think about, oh, if I'm going to be doing all of these things, then how much time do I have to be spending, right? So you think you have to be strategic about it and decide which one would you want to work first on and then repurpose the content a little bit later. 
Okay, so these are the reasons why uh, writing content would be suitable for you in your business. So here are some examples. So we've got uh, one is Have Halal Will Travel. They wrote this article, This Hidden Bakery in Singapore has gorgeous 8-inch tarts for your next special occasion. So that's something you can do to express an idea. Uh, this is what we know, uh, what we call and known as uh, listicle uh, articles. So list articles or listicles. Right, so this is where you're going to just list out top 10 or top 8 kind of uh, places or ideas that you have. And then I also included my example over here, which is three lies entrepreneurs tell newbies. Right, so this is something that you can also create and, and it shows your authenticity as well as your authority in the space. Right, so that's why we need to look at blog posts. So based on what I've shared today, which content type would you choose? So if you're here tuning in with us on um, the Zoom, you can drop in inside the chat. And if you are here tuning in on live on Facebook, you can also drop in the comments and let us know which content type that you would choose. Would you choose video content, audio content, or blog content? Okay, so let's just wait for some responses to come in and then we can chime in. Okay. Cool. Let's see if that's any feedback on the Facebook thing. Okay. All right, Adeline said written is easier. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that. I, I do find written is easier, but it, it takes a lot of time, a lot of brain work too. Uh, so some, some people might find that it's very draining for them if they were to write like 3,000 word articles. We're, we're not asking you to write a research paper, so you can just write 800 words, that's fine too. <laughs> yeah. So audio content, okay, so Zin and Mushida say audio content, okay. So audio content is also great, yeah? but here's the thing, you can blend them, that's okay. You can do video and audio content, you can do um, video and blog posts. So you have a blog post that you've already turned into a video, you can lump it up together. Or you can even do audio and uh, written. So blog posts that you find are very long. You want to maybe record an audio piece to just read things out. That's also something that's very valuable for you. Can you explain the stages of media parallel to your business? Like what stage do you start podcasting? Okay. All right. So I can take that question. Um, how, how I started in terms of uh, podcasting. I started first with podcasts at zero ideas of the blog post and all of that. It started with the idea first. It started that I wanted to share my knowledge. Uh, I Before I hit record, I actually just blare everything. You know, I just like vomited all the ideas that I wanted to say, get myself familiarized and used to the idea of speaking to this little thing called a microphone. Yeah, and then I, I went on and, and then I developed the ideas and I thought, okay, based on what I said just now, okay, I think I'm going to pull out point A. And then point A, the first episode I have was five tips on branding, which was what I was already good at in my other business. So I started talking about branding. And then I went on to talk about uh, why you need a brand specialist. And then I went on to talk about coaching and then I went on to do the strategy work like mindset training. I went on to talk about my brain down, which is the most popular episode on my podcast. Yeah, so from then on, then I started to be smarter and I wrote my scripts first. So I wrote my scripts and then I realized, hey, I might as well just do this into a blog post. So do that as a blog post and concurrently record it for a podcast episode. So in, if you're asking in, in parallel, like which stage of the business, for me, it began at the earliest stage where I was trying to create some visibility and creating authority in the market. I'm not sure about you, Zin and Mushida, like for you, for both of you, like when did you begin um, you know, your, your journey with creating content? For me, creating content was when first first uh, Facebook first started, 2007. And that was, um, that was just me putting out uh, uh, proverbs and, and quotes from people, famous people, Napoleon Hill and all that. And then I realized that there was a lot of people following and they said like, oh, okay, um, that's very interesting. And, uh, you know, and people started writing. I think it was, it was way back when Facebook was really, really new. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, when I was more visible offline, um, the people from offline and the people who follow, watch me in on television, they started to follow me on Facebook. They started to search. And that's how I started to grow my following. And um, I, I, I started, what I saw was a lot of engagement was when I started selling, uh, telling real stories about my life. And just like what you said, um, you're saying your, your challenges in business. And I think that, that get people to realize that, hey, I'm not alone. 
you know that that um that even successful people go through that challenges so that also um i found that when i started telling stories about my life and and things that i go through how i overcome some things that i observe that's where my content was shaped around that but always linking back to love and respect so that's that's the that's the thing the content that i did yeah. right. Najihat, uh, thanks for asking that question. I hope that gives you some clarity um, as to what you were asking in terms of the phases. It depends on your business stage. But if let's say right now you're already starting your business, that's okay too. You can you know, start wherever you are. It, do, it doesn't mean that you have to pause and then start a new business and then start all over again. No, it doesn't mean that way. Okay, So wherever you are, you just can keep going. What if one doesn't have a following? Then you build the following. <laughs> that is the answer to it. <laughs> exactly that. You have to build the following. Uh, somehow, one way or another, you have to find ways to create the following uh, to, to help you stand out in this arena. Okay? So, I see some questions on Facebook. Let me just pull them out first. Okay, I see that you guys are keen on video content. Yes, video content is definitely the way to go. It is the future. So just work towards that direction of um, getting, you know, getting the content out. Okay, so you need to know and understand, of course, that knowing content types alone is not enough. Because that is in theory. And in practice, it's a whole other ball game. So that's the reason why Mushida, Zil, and I came up together to create this content that converts virtual workshop that will be coming up on the 18th and 25th of September. So it's a two days workshop just for you. Okay, so in, in this two days workshop, you will learn the three C's of content marketing. And this is something that I say over and over again, it's so important for us to emphasize this. Okay, and then we're also going to teach you five easy to create content. Five easy to create content. So no more excuses saying, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't have any ideas. You're going to get the ideas over here to wow your audience, yeah? We're also going to be sharing with you some tools and trends for social media uh, in relevance to the industry. So when you sign up, we're actually going to do a preliminary check to see which of the social medias that you have. And then from there, we will be able to test and see, okay, which of the tools and trends will be more suitable for, for you as a class, all right? We're also going to teach you how to create content using Canva. This is my favorite tool. I keep talking about this. So it is definitely possible for you to create a lot of content on Canva. This slide that you're seeing is also on Canva. So it's very possible for you to do a lot of things to wow your audience using Canva. And that's not all because you will also get these bonuses that all of us here have already created just for you. You will also be receiving a certificate of completion, which is very important for some of you. So we are going to give you this certificate of completion upon um, assessment. Um, <laughs> we're going to assess you to make sure that you apply the work, of course. And then at the end of it, we're going to give you a certificate of completion. And Zil and Mushida will be giving you a nine step on how to manifest money or anything quickly guide. So this is a very useful guide to help you shape your mind. Okay, Zil and Mushida, would you like to add on any, any information about this? Yes, um, this is the, the nine steps that I, I applied personally to get from my uh, two ringgit to 20,000 in less than two weeks, right? Using whatever resources that I already have. So these are things that I am doing. And also right now I'm still coaching people on manifesting. Yeah. And uh, if you, you know, you, you, you get on, uh, get the, the guide. Um, and now you can also get in touch with us to be able to get into the nine steps. We'll send you, yeah. we'll send you content on how yeah. to actually apply this, um, nine yeah. steps uh, to manifest the money that yeah. you are looking for or anything, you know, if, whether it's that, that, that relationship yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah, so this is actually very one, powerful. Yeah. One of the things that I like what Huda was sharing about, about the, uh, the lies that people tell entrepreneurs, right? Like one of the things that, the thing that people always say when you become an entrepreneur, you're not going to make profits in the first, sec first, second year. You have to hustle, you have to work around the clock. But here what we found, right, after uh, having so many amazing mentors, which is very important, right, that you, that we don't have to struggle in business. Business is something to enjoy. But once you enjoy business, right, you, you do, like for us now, we do half the work that we used to do, but we get More. double the results. Yeah. So it actually can be done, but that, that manifesting process is a process. It doesn't take more work, but it takes more of a very, um, you have to plan it and you have to do it very, very persistently. Then only you will be able to manifest. Yeah. And like, for us, we have been practicing this not only with ourselves, we share with other our, 
uh, community members they achieve the exact same thing because the the process is very universal. Yeah, and it's just yeah. to actually apply it and having faith in yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So yes, you get this. You get this for, free, get this yeah. for free, yeah? yeah. And plus the guides as well, you get yeah. that for free. Then you will get like when you the moment you you, you opt into this one, right? You will get a uh, uh, nine emails sharing with you every step. Let me step one, what you need to do. Step two, so you get not just content, but you get guided content where you'll be able to apply it in your life in your in your, in your business. Yeah. That's great. That's so amazing. So many things that you can learn just from this guide alone. We haven't even, you know, talked about the actual workshop yet. The workshop was just the content. You're already going to learn things from, from this PDF. Guys, it's really amazing. And uh, Zira and Murshida will also be including the one-month access to conscious networking platform. So you guys want to share about this? Yep. Yeah. What we did was when COVID happened, right, we actually had this idea a long time ago to build our own community, our people who want to do good, but we, we keep on putting it off because we were so busy being busy, you know. <laughs> Then when COVID happened, it was a wake up call. I said, we saw like one by one a business closing down and then people in the entrepreneur circle, like we saw entrepreneurs even with a medium sized business uh, committing suicide. So we said, this is, we cannot uh, allow this to happen. Uh, we have to do something. So that's why we decided to create, immediately create our Liver Legacy Conscious Business Committee where we actually have a platform, we all support each other. So there are people who, when we got them in there, they were still reluctant on, to whether to join a community or not, no, because that is an investment, it's not for free, but we allow them to actually have an access at least one month in our community. And when they had in that one month alone, they started earning money, even without being part of the community 100%, but they started earning money by getting all the necessary yes. uh, tips when we did our uh, huddles, our function. So even that one month alone, uh, if you really participate in that one month, you'll be able to get some income at least for you to sustain your life or even if you want to continue being part of our platform, you can do that as well. Yep. Yes, I really value this networking uh, platform as well because that's where I got to meet a lot of people. I also got to uh, get to know some of the ladies in this room as well and, and it's really exciting also to see that um, there's so much growth since where we first started together and, and where we are here today. So I'm really excited to share this with all of you and I hope you will also gain some value from this as well. So not only that, I will also be throwing in, I'll also be giving you the Art of Firing Your Boss uh, guide. So this is my own personal story and my six-step system to help you to kind of kickstart your business even in a nine-to-five job. And then one of the things that I would tell you inside this book, which I will tell you now, which is don't tender your resignation. That's the answer. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you not to tender your resignation because there are some strategies inside here that you have to follow. And that's why this is an art of firing your boss rather than I'm going to fire my boss today. Okay, so this is something you're going to learn uh, inside here in this guide. And we are also going to give you a 30-day trial to Canva Pro. If you don't already have an account, this is the best time for you to join in and also have a 30-day trial to Canva Pro because Canva is having this amazing thing where when you go through the 30-day Canva Pro trial, you will be able to uh, stand, you will be able to receive a kind of like a discount. So this discount will take place where you will be paying for five seats, which means five users for the price of one user so it's really a steal uh, for you to try this out right and this of course is my favorite tool and this is also what we'll be covering inside uh, the program so in summary this is what you will be learning on 18 and 25 of september which is next week and the week after that uh, from 2 to 5 p.m okay, you will be learning the three c's of content marketing five easy to create content to wow your audience tools and trends for social media creating content using Canva, and we are going to include these bonuses for you, certificate of completion, the nine-step manual, sorry, the nine-step on how to manifest money and anything quickly guide, yes, <laughs> the art of firing your boss guide, as well as a 30-day trial to Canva Pro. Now, all of this, it was valued at $500, but we are just offering you at $297 US dollars, right, $297 US dollars. And because you are here live, we're going to give a special bonus. We're going to give a special price to all of you. All right, Zil, maybe you want to share this special price? <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is for you, those of you who really, because we re, uh, believe in rewarding people who take action and they are, they, they, without having, you don't really know what's going to happen, but you take action and you do it. Uh, we're going to, in the next 24 hours, if you sign up, uh, Huda will, will put the link later on in the FB and also in the FB Live. We will give you a special price of 197, right? Uh, for, for those of you who sign up in the next 24 hours. 
So that one, I ever tell you seriously, like for us, right, we actually to go through all these kind of courses, right, we spend tens or thousands of dollars to attend all these kind of quality courses, you know. And then when I compare who does content with even international content, she said, Pa, but uh, amazing that she's giving a, so much benefit and so much value to the people that she's teaching as well. So I really, that's why we're working with Suda as well. Yeah. Thanks, Dale. Yes, so what you have just heard, that special offer is going to only take place from now all the way until the end of the week. Yes, the week is short, so until tomorrow, okay? So it's only available <laughs> until tomorrow, okay? So you're going to have this special price. Uh, and if you would like to kick off and really just go into to learn about how you can make yourself more visible through content specifically, now is the time for you to do that. This workshop is going to help you to shape your content and also, by the end of the two days uh, workshop, when you do the work, you will be able to see the value, the quality of leads that's going to come onto your social media. It's going to improve really, really tremendously. Instead of people just jamming in and just see PM price, <laughs> people are going to just ask you, hey, I saw that you're actually doing this. Uh, I want to buy 10 pieces. I want to do a bulk order. I'm having a Christmas sale. I'm, doing, I'm in charge of parties for my uh, office. I want to get this. Your clientele will change. Trust me on this one. This definitely works for us. We've already tried this so many times. When you give valuable content, value will return back to you. And that's exactly the mindset that you want to have in this program okay all right so uh, i'm gonna drop the link in the facebook live as well as i'm gonna send an email to all of you again for those of you who have attended so you can receive the discount over the next 24 hours all right time sensitive indeed and this is a, a true marker of people who take action i took action when I was with Mushida and Zil, I was really took action. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. And I, I did the work that needs to be done. So you can also see that if you do the work, you put in effort and you put in the time, you'll be able to see success, right? So I also wanted to just share briefly, just shortly, I just wanted to share. As Mushida was talking about her 10K club, I want to share good news that in my beneficiary community, only four sessions in, one of my ladies have gotten their 10K. Woo! <laughs> That's so brilliant. <laughs> Beneficiary, okay, so they are women from underprivileged community. Can you imagine the amount of success that they are going through in their lives? So this is the kind of wins that we want to celebrate in the community for all of you to see that if you put in the effort, put in the work, you will be able to rise up and move on to the next stage of your life and even grow. That's the kind of feeling that we want you to go through. All right. So I'm going to open the floor for questions. <laughs> we feel the excitement. <laughs> if you have any questions, just drop them inside the chat as well as the comments below. Right. Let's see. Is there any questions? Maybe Huda, maybe what we can do is one of the person that we can answer is like also I asked this person at the beginning of my how do I get a following? Like like a lot of people don't know, like like I want to do something, I want to contact, how do you get people to follow me? That's one of the most challenging things uh, doing uh digital marketing. Maybe you want to share about that? Sure. Okay, so I can just share briefly about how you can gain some following. Okay, so if I have a guide on my blog, uh, how to get your first 1000 followers on Instagram. So that's also something that you can follow through. Um, so what you want to do is to make sure that you have a call to action at every single one of your posts. This call to action can be as simple as drop a comment below follow me, um, you know, drop, send me a DM. It can be as simple as that. It doesn't have to be salesy all the time. But this CTA, the call to action alone, will help you to uh, you know, attract the people that are interested in you. Okay, so one thing that I like to do also is that I, I like to look at other people's account and then I'll just like double tap, give them their heart and, and you know, like show to them that I appreciate them. And I add value by also looking at their content and giving them good comments not emoji comments, right? comments that are valuable to them. So if you see someone who says that maybe um, you know, she has just first time managed to cook a, a dish or a meal, right? so you, instead of just like sending an emoji with a, with a clap, it's not enough. Okay? You can tell them like, wow, that's so amazing. I cannot even imagine the amount of things that I have to do and multitask if I was standing in front of a stove. Right? So you are great and amazing. And people like that. 
people love to be appreciated people love to be celebrated so why not do that for them right so this is something that you can do and this also helps with your branding of authenticity and people can feel it especially when you're very sincere and honest yeah so you can try that out okay awesome i love that answer yes <laughs> yes, yes do something for people and yeah, yeah. You, you, will, you will get a following because of that as well yeah yeah and then when you speak right and your content is speaking to the to your target audience yeah, who, yeah. who are you yeah. serving exactly what we did like in the beginning right how we like we got so many uh media media uh invited to speak on their show right it was not like we paid them anything at all. What we did was we were just very active on social media. We just shared our life story, how we add value, our our social work. We go on, visit, visit homeless every weekend. Uh, we did a lot of things. We just share with authenticity, not to show off, but just to inspire people also to do the same. And then suddenly we get a call. Oh, we, we saw your uh, social media post uh, about you doing this work for homeless or refugees and we want to feature you on our show. So then when you are visible and you're always putting yourself out there whether it's on social media or on clubhouse or anything right somehow just trust the process it doesn't happen overnight like you cannot expect like i do today then tomorrow somebody will follow me or somebody will call me it's just like you need to be like mushida did three months very consistently and then she managed to get her first 5k doing uh fourth month yeah in the, in the fourth month right so you see it's all about being consistent the moment you are consistent and you're authentic and you keep sharing you will definitely get followers and also a lot of other opportunities like media and other things as well yeah yeah, yeah so that's very important okay thanks so much for sharing that uh i want to just give a shout out to my coaches in this room thank you so much for being here you guys are awesome <laughs> yay okay so go and sign up for the content that converts workshop it is going to be valuable for you to help you move from clueless to fearless okay <laughs> <laughs> so from not knowing anything you will walk away with knowing a lot of things okay that's something that i really pride in my workshops yeah. <laughs> okay. now, I, usually, I just share one thing right i recently got a 10k doing business online right on the platform that we're using now so how i actually i did that was i, I don't have any knowledge before when i started on online i was so i was clueless also i was like banging my head against the wall but what i did was i committed 30 minutes every day to learn something new about online, whether it's doing landing pages or it's doing uh, offers or doing content. I just spend educating myself and then whatever I learn, I apply online. And then, uh, of course, at the beginning, you will not see results because it takes a bit of time. But after the third week, right, I managed to get my first sale of 500 US dollars by just promoting my, my, uh, my, my lower end workshops. Then, when I had that, I keep repeating the same process. Then in my first month, I think slightly plus what well, I got my first 5,000. So actually it can be done. All you need to do is just, uh, many people not willing to invest in themselves, not willing to invest the time to learn. All we need to do is just do that. And consistently, you will definitely see result. You're not, you're not going to come up with zero. You're going to get at least something. And then when you get something, you'll be excited to keep on doing it, you know? Yeah. So now I'm very excited with online, with technology. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yay. Okay. I'm so glad that you enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I, I think there's no questions. I uh, really dropped the links for the sign up. So you can sign up over with the links on the Facebook Live as well as um, in the comments right now inside um, Zoom. All right, so uh, I'll pass the time to you if you have any last words you'd like to say. I think for us, it's all about taking action and taking inspired action. And if you feel that this is something that resonates with you, sometimes, you know, the feeling is like, uh, it's nice, but uh, but uh, but uh, you know that all the things, the money, the yeah. time, the thing, all of those buts. I think you, those are things that is your comfort zone that you are you, you yeah. But if you are looking at something that in your to transform your life to yeah. get into um the what is current right now that you need to be able to support yourself and your family yeah. and be able to do good. Um, the, the online platform is really important for you to get into yeah. and it's very uncomfortable I like for me it's uncomfortable for me uh, but you know it's when I, I see that you know I have to go online my comfort zone is offline right yeah. but I since I have to go online I took that step and you don't look back after that it's just about getting past that yeah. initial fear block money yeah. all those things in your head because that is the the nonsense that is always keeping you back to yeah, your comfort yeah. zone, which is not comfortable at the moment. Yeah, like, yeah. like how we started, like how we started, like we actually, uh, we started investing in high-end coaches, you know, like and high-end coaches, it's not like 200, 300, it's like 30,000 US dollars, that kind of thing, you know, so 
there's one cost it tendered. I remember that we don't have money. We only had ten percent of what they what they the the cost is for thirty thousand Singapore dollars. I just put ten percent uh, deposit, and they say if you don't do if you don't uh, sign up for the program in two weeks, your whole deposit is gonna be gone. So we just like burn the bridges, burn the boats, whatever it is, and we just keep on moving forward and just share about our mission, our passion, our whatever we're doing, and people actually invested in us. So it's just about. Uh, taking the leap of faith, right? Even though you don't see it now, just do uh, take the leap of faith. Before you do your prayers, whatever you need to do first, go on it. And when you do, the moment you start, don't look back already. Just move forward. Whatever you learn, you apply. I can I can almost uh, assure you, right? You will double and triple your income by just by by getting good mentors and uh, being in a very good course. Yeah. And I think Huda is the, the best person for you because she has been in this industry for a very long time. And not only she's not by just theory, but she's very authentic, very sincere in helping people. Yes. She not only help the people who can afford, but also people who cannot afford. So you, when you join our programs, you are also contributing towards the marginalized community. So we're actually uh, having, helping both ends of the society as well. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So that's amazing. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, uh, even at Fempreneur Secrets, we have a five help one model. So for every five women who invest in themselves, one women's seat to our Rising Fempreneur Beneficiary Program will be sponsored. And that is what makes it amazing. So when you do sign up to this Content That Converts workshop, you are not only going to be able to help the work that Zil and Mushida is doing, you're also going to be able to help the community that Fempreneur Secrets is serving as well. So both ways. Isn't that amazing? Like we can help yeah. more people. <laughs> amazing. Oh, okay. Someone just joined. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you can ask them to give uh, uh, just sharing or um, we uh, just share anything they want to share the audience. Yeah, anybody wants to share or somebody wants to say anything about like you have attended Uda's program. Uh, yeah, um, Yasmin, Ajiha, Adeline, yeah. Nadia, if you guys want to chime in, you guys can also share. If you have had a good experience uh, with me in, you know, in the classes and all that, you can feel free to unmute yourself and share as well. That, that would be helpful to let other people know the kind uh, of, of experience that they should be expecting. Yeah. Right? And it's also yes. visibility for you who, who yeah. like the um, uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yes, Adeline. Hi, Adelaide. Hi. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank Huda for uh, helping me set up my business. Uh, she really helped me through when I was stuck and uh, I was uh, wondering what else to do. So uh, thanks to her, I've launched my business and actually made my first sale. So that's a, that's a great thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, Adeline. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Catch up soon, okay? We need to do a coaching call soon. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, so that's that's uh, one of my coaches. Yeah, so if any one of you would like to share, also feel free to do so. Or uh, Kadi, if you're here also, if you would like to you know share anything, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. <laughs> I think they're shy. <laughs> Yeah, maybe yeah, they're not available else. right it's now. In there, yeah. So yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So with that, I I love to say thank you everyone for watching, and uh, we'll be um looking forward to uh, be of service to you next week on Saturday yeah. at two to five. Um, we do have uh just Huda, just to let you know, it will be recorded. Yeah. Uh, we do have some people from the from like we have uh, our uh, people in the community from Trinidad and Tobago and from the US who said like wow yeah, it's at two a.m. in the morning. So I said whatever you have any questions, but most important is to be able to um, watch the recording if you cannot attend. But yeah. if you can stay up two to five, yeah. by all means go ahead and mm -hmm. and stay up. I mean we wake up for mastermind calls at, yeah, at three at or four o'clock in the morning yeah. as well. So. <laughs> just, it's just like just two days, right? Just cycle yeah. for the two days. Yeah. And then the, after the two days, you're going to get amazing things, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. so it. that's that's it. Yeah, all right. Yes, I look forward to seeing all of you next week and the week after that, all right? So thank you so much for being here. Take thank care. You. Thank yeah, you. Bye-bye, yeah. everybody. Bye, everyone.